With advances in solar energy technology, harnessing the power of the sun has become more efficient and cost effective. Hi, I'm Nick Tamble. Today I'm going to introduce to you a solar pod by Maui Engineering, which is a smart and simple invention with many benefits for residential and commercial applications. The solar pod comes conveniently packaged on one pallet that can be easily managed by two people. A solar pod comes in four main parts. The solar panels are labeled A1, A2, and the bottom portions are B1, B2. The box in front of me holds all the hardware. Let's open it up and begin. Part B1 has a splice bar that's temporarily attached to it. We need to remove that piece so that when we join B1 and B2, the splice bar gets reattached and firmly connects the unit. When we reinstall the splice bar, there is a spring nut that needs to be transferred from B1 to B2. Once that is in place, we can secure the splice bar. We have the framework upside down to easily install the legs. Before we do that, we need to make sure there's a spring nut loaded inside the leg to fit inside the bracket. Next, we attach the six legs to the bottom portion of B1 and B2. We have the framework resting on the patio blocks. All we're gonna do now is check to see if we're level. Now it's time to attach the easy hook anchors. A dowel is placed in the foot part of the anchor and driven down into the ground next to the patio block. The cable is then wrapped around the leg and secured by a fastener. Now it's time to attach A1 to B1. Okay, this is the A1 solar panel. You can notice it's A1 because it has a coil on the side here. That's gonna be extended to A2, but first we're gonna get A1 in place. First, we are going to attach the hinge nut anchor between A1 and B1. The solar pod really is an easy two-person construction. Now that we have the hinge nut in place, we can lift the solar panel up and connect it to the back brace. The back side of the A1 panel has half of this telescoping pole that's gonna fit right into this back brace. We're gonna secure the telescoping pole with this tilt adjust pin. There we go. Now the panel is gonna rest on the frame until we get the A2 panel in place. Now we're installing the spring nut on the back side of A2 in final preparation for the splice bar. All the nuts and bolts are secured on the solar pod, so that means all the mechanical portion of this installation is complete. What we have left to do is some electrical hookup. Next, we're gonna release the coil from A1 and make sure that you only cut this one tie wrap. And string it onto A2 and connect it with tie wraps. Now we're gonna connect the inverter plugs to the AC cable. First, we have to take off the red cap, make the connection. The final connection we make at the solar pod is with a weatherproof twist lock plug. Okay, here we are at the power source. I have the plug in from the solar pod in hand and we've had a receptacle installed that's a 240 30 amp service that's tied in with a dedicated two pole 20 amp circuit breaker. Before the system is connected, the inverter shows blinking red once we connect, in a five minute delay, the system will go from blinking red to blinking green, and now you're making solar energy. Solar pods use state-of-the-art photovoltaic technology. With utility and federal rebates, as well as business depreciation, solar pods are an affordable way to start using solar energy. Solar pods, where smart meets simple.